EIDL loan approval, avoid these mistakes. In this video, I will explain the top three mistakes that I'm seeing when people are either applying for an EIDL loan or applying to get an increase through reconsideration and how to mitigate these issues if they arise. At the end of the video, I'll give you a bonus tip to make sure you receive the money. These are in no particular order. I'm just labeling as to my importance factors of not getting a loan. Number one, economic injury was not sustained or substantial enough to require the funds. You may be denied the EIDL if your reported cost of goods was greater than your reported income, or basically you were operating at a loss. This is implying your business does not cash flow. When you subtract your cost of goods sold from your sales, this is called your gross income. The SBA can deny your application if this number is negative. The code that would be put when you're denied would be economic injury not sustained. If there was an error when you reported your figures, you can request through reconsideration and you should provide an updated income statement, also known as your profit and loss. You can also use financial statements, such as a monthly income report or income statement, and this would show your economic injury that you sustained. The SBA has form 1368, and I'll link that below in the description box. With this form, you can compare your current monthly figures with your last three years. If the amount in that figure is less than you receive from the EIDL grant, you may be declined for the loan. Number two, business activity is not eligible. Certain businesses are excluded from this program, such as gambling or finance activities. If your business doesn't fall into one of those categories and you believe that you should still be eligible to receive the loan, then the information the SB has about your business is likely wrong. And if your business has moved, you should update your address with the SBA. And if this is all correct, make sure you're supplying the documentation that you got from the state when your business was formed. Number three, unsatisfactory credit history. Your personal credit score will be pulled and it'll play a substantial role in determining your eligibility. If your score is too low, your application will be denied. To have a chance of getting your loan funded or reconsideration approved, you'll need to improve your credit score. Or you can provide proof that your credit score is not accurate. Let's say you had a medical condition that caused your credit history or credit score to drop. You can provide that documentation and that may sway the loan officer who's working on your application to approve it. Given that you have a good credit history, it's just you had one incident or let's say a divorce, something that impacted your credit that was through no fault of your own or something that you couldn't foresee happening. The big thing they look for when a low credit score is if you're not paying your bills. If you're choosing to not pay your bills uh, or you're late or 30 days, 60 days, 90 days late, typically those don't look very good on a credit report, but you can have something as simple as a medical charge off for $20 that haunts you forever. You just have to make sure to document that and that you can show proof that it was paid. One of the best ways to improve your score is to reduce your balances, reduce your credit utilization and pay them off. If you're able to do that, it's going to give you the best possible chance of getting the loan approved. The bonus tip, the SBA cannot verify your real business. First off, make sure you're real business. There's so much rampant fraud out there that the SBA is hypersensitive on businesses just trying to obtain funds or loans or whatever that they know they're not gonna pay for and they're probably gonna default in the future. Provide all of your business documentation that you receive from your state. A stamped copy from your state saying when your business was established, which had to be prior, to, prior than February 2020, Make your business name match your bank account. If this information is wrong, your bank will more than likely send those payments back to the SBA and it'll cause a whole bunch of ripple effects and you'll have to go through 800 numbers and email responses just to get the money back. So verify if it is labeled as John Smith Cleaning Company that on your bank account is listed as John Smith Cleaning Company. It's much easier to make sure you're taking the time to fill out the information correctly the first time than to go back and try and correct it. Spending the initial time up front will save you a lot of wasted time in the end. I hope this helped you out by labeling some of the mistakes and how you can correct them. I wish you the best of luck in your business and with applying for whatever help you can get for your business. And until next time, have a great day.